and welcome back to another modern skyblock 2 with Wayno. So it's like 5 a.m. in the morning where I am. I got woken up early and I couldn't get back to sleep. So I decided to play a little bit of Minecraft while I'm awake. Because well, instead of laying in bed and twiddling my thumbs, I decided to twiddle my thumbs on Minecraft. So what we need to do is we need to actually make a crafter. Oh, I have one. I'm ahead of myself. And I need a carpenter. So this requires a sturdy casing. And there we go. We can make a sturdy casing. Or not. Okay, so we have the wrong mixture and I haven't set up that yet so let me check yeah two blocks in it let's go change this and we'll probably have to do all dictionary on it so we need two of them so grab this and put this we don't want them ones This one, and it's in the wrong one. It needs to be crafted, doesn't it? So let's go like this, and now like this. Now, I don't know why it chooses them ones for the first ones, but like this and like this. Eventually we'll get around to actually making the bronze ingots, but it won't be in the alloy furnace though, we'll remove that. <coughs> Let's do this, and this, 
Let's hopefully I can get this back. Nope. Goodbye. Eventually, slowly get all the plates and all the gears and everything automated to make it a little bit easier. Some will not be able to be automated, but most of it should be able to. So, because like the docking, uh, like calculator, you need a docking station, which will be interesting. Never played with one before, so I just know about it. And bam, water is full. Okay, we have water over here now. We have several ways of actually getting power here. Wow, they're so noisy up there while they die, aren't they? So. I just want to get this up and running so I can just come up and click on it and bam have it all ready to go. So a lot of it I still will need to manually do until I can get it all up and running. So this is the joy of it all. Automate everything. Or we'll try and automate everything anyway. And I actually needed to do for me, which is going to be awesome. Oops, wrong one, so put that away. Now, machine freight itself, which needs to be out of that mode. So we need iron plate. one and this one and do 
this one and this one. I know I probably could use or dictionary to I'd change them, but they're the ones that are currently using. Uh, the only other thing is I need to set up the Tinker Smeltery to auto handle. Um, <coughs> um, what do you call it? The glass making. But I, I won't be making it in this one. I'll probably make one downstairs, which will be just a small smeltery. Um, nothing too big in like this one. And probably have to do something with lava creation out of an automated one. Uh, okay, so now I should be able to go... I want a machine frame of one. And I'm missing glass like I thought. But I have a heap of it over here. So, like that. And there we go. So I should be able to hit this and start and start, and this will go off and process it all for me won't process all of it because there are some stuff that is already in the system but I'll make a second one so it does a whole batch itself just waiting for that iron plate which should be gone through already and now we're just waiting for oh I need an import bus don't I that's what I forgot to grab I don't know why the crafter doesn't auto import. I just wait for this to be processed, which this has got some awesome speed now and two dedicated solders. And there is our import, and I will grab some more cable just in case. Should import. No. Oh, I forgot power. Hold on, why no? Now. I can just run straight across. I, I do like using lasers, as I've said in the past, but the problem is. I really need to get it automatically set up, and the higher ones are very expensive. So now this should work. And it removed. Beautiful. Now, yeah. there's 49 diamonds there. But there's 12 in there, so they're not saving on that one. So, if I remove all them and then put it back in, will that fix it? Yes, okay, cool. Because if I can have them, uh, all my stuff stored in them, it won't use as much disk space. So, now I'll go back. And there is my one machine frame. Let's make another machine frame. Let's see where this is being processed. Oh, it's done the four, hard, uh, four iron plates. bronze plates and now it should be doing these come on waiting for items and done there we go so we have completed the automation of machine frames awesome now we need the red
redstone pulverizer. So we need some bricks. Um, I'd probably be out of clay, which it seems I'm out of clay. Now, um, do I actually have any bricks left? I can't remember. No. Well, that's a shame. So I'll have to go make some more clay. Now, I'm going to automate the clay, which is up here. But I'm not going to do it up here, because that will ruin all my pretties. I'll make another crystal and put it downstairs. Ah, uh, sand. But for now, we'll just do it up here. Actually, I'll put that away, that away. That's good. Now, I did leave the leasing tool in here. That's good. So, my plan is, is I'm going to do a um, couple of mods to automate it. Because it seems that would be the best. But at the current point, I will probably make it a little bit easier by doing it that way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a mechanical user, which will place it, and then a mechanical miner to mine it, and then have a uh, detection, uh, an item detector, and when it turns to clay, send signal to break it. This one will constantly keep placing it, and it will just keep doing that, and that will have be directly on that block all the time, the crystal, so I can just go ahead and just do the that straight away. Um, I could just use a breaker, not even a. Oh no! Oh yeah, we could use a breaker because it's redstone, redstone controlled, and just yeah, make it that way and do it really easily. And eventually, probably even hook it up to interface to see if I can actually get them working to keep them in stock. This thing is going to be a pain in the ass. I still haven't really thought about um, working out how to automate it because I was thinking of doing um, mechanical users here, picking up the buckets and then replacing them every so often and the one that's not there, refill. But the problem is, even though we can pick these up, it still won't detect the missing one because you can't pick this up. So, yeah. I haven't actually worked it out. I know I can pick them up and replace them, and with the missing buckets, just go pick up another bucket. But will the mechanical user overwrite this when it goes to place it? So, I haven't worked it out. The other problem is, is I can't remove any of these blocks, or the structure will stop working. Because, yeah, it. I'm pretty sure the structure detects these blocks. I haven't tested it, so the, the easiest way to test it is, we'll do this. Because if I can remove this block here, or one of these blocks along the lines, I can get it to work. Let's see. Well, it seems not, because this is the missing block. Place that, and it starts working. So you, you can't actually change anything in this. And you need two sides to read or write to this. So, yeah. This is the problem that I'm having with the astral sorcery stuff. There's no way to, well, that I know of, to detect missing starlight to automate it. I haven't gone through the book completely and trying to find it, so, yeah. Wow, this is taking a while to turn this into clay. Well, I will go make the other one uh, pulverizer while we wait. Because that's the other one we need. Yay, that one. So we need some. I really should be finish importing all this too, because I have the space now. Import the 
flint. I'll just do that actually. Um, oh, this requires a piston. Awesome. Probably won't be able to make one. No, I need that. So. I wonder if I should set the docking station up. So we need one of them. And what was the other one? That's right, refined iron. Which there is none. Uh, This way. Calculator iron and refined iron. Uh, refined. Oh, I spelled it wrong, but still nothing there anyway. So, actually, see. So I'll need some iron. snag all of it and this one and this one equals that and there we go Mr. Piston be created so let's see the This is a docking station, so power cube, calculator assembly. So I should be able to make this fairly easily. Uh, get the process of that running. So I'll probably need to make more crafters and so forth and so on. I get 37 out of that one. Pulverizer, apparently. Wrong gears. Oh, they're copper gears. I see. See, this is why you test.
least we have spare copper gears for the future now, hey? Missing copper? Really? Damn. As you can see, I've hooked up some more iron. memory it used to break some stuff but it should work fine now yep okay so it has worked um, that's right I was there we go There we go. I just don't like the look of the lights just hanging there. It's just weird. I don't know why. It just is. Now, I need to cook up eight. The rest can go in here. And then I can start really pushing for automation once I get this up and running. Since this is part of the automation system, let's put. I'm thinking over here for the thermal stuff. So, and I can run power off and down like that, and then run a crafter to the back. up these when I want, teach the system on how to make them, so which will be through here and I will need to actually start making some overclockers. Got a nice stack in there. you don't have to worry about processes and all this other stuff. Because that would be so problematic. Yeah, I need upgrades in this as well. that one and there is our importer and some more cabling so every time I pull the cabling out it just makes more and it's a lot easier for me to handle that way so if I put crafter here use the wrench to turn it around and then this can go really 
should do this up the ground there, or this wiring, shouldn't I? It'll be out of the way then. Might have to do that once I get flight. strings when needed. Once I set this up properly, so the top is extract for both, and the back should be that one. Yeah, that's the back, and that should be in. So let's. Copper and gold, so let's grab half a stack. I wonder how much gold we have. Quite a bit actually, surprisingly. Now let's see if this is still oh that's right, I was doing this through here, wasn't I? Uh this is why I wanted a third duct out. Which I might. If I do. Oops. Okay. Actually, I could probably do it on this one here. So that reconnects, and then you should be able to pull out when. like that. And I do 32 in. Not quite enough. You off, you off, beautiful. You really should have it out here with another lever. Turn it on it, or a completely one out here actually. A new slot with a lever, and then have it connected there or something. wrapping point time so I will continue on in the next episode so thanks for watching and later and have fun